What is the difference between Toyota TRD and Toyota GR, Gazoo Racing? Well, today we're going to answer that question. Hi, my name is Eric, and I've been thinking about this question for a while. So I actually contacted Toyota to get the answers. There's a lot of history behind TRD, but we're not going to delve into that too deeply. We're going to focus mainly on what TRD is known for now and what Gazoo Racing is known for now. If you want me to do a video that is more of a deep dive into both of those brands, let me know and I'll bring it to you in the future. TRD actually has not been called TRD all the way back into the past. In fact, the name TRD started in the 70s. However, going back, Toyota formed a company called Toyopet Sebi Company in 1954. It was a post-war effort and their mission was to actually refurbish used cars. After the war, parts and raw materials were scarce, so it took them about three years before they decided to get into racing. Toyota says they became the first Japanese manufacturer to compete in racing, and they formed a company called Tosco, or Toyota Sports Corner. Yeah, not the best name. Toyota had a very cute little car in the 50s called the Toyopet Crown and they decided to compete in a Australian rally called the Mobile Gas Rally and it actually went all the way around Australia. It was a 19 day race and Toyota finished. They placed 47th out of 86 cars. Not the most auspicious debut, but as you know, Toyota is a company that really sticks with things and they persevered. In the 1960s, the Japanese economy started to rebound and Toyota produced its first sports car called the Sports 800. It's a pretty quirky looking little thing, very lightweight and it didn't make a whole lot of power. But in 1965, Toyota entered the Sports 800 in the first All Japan Automobile Club Championships race and they won first place in the GT1 group. The version they competed with had a 790cc engine, two cylinder air cooled and it made 45 horsepower. Also during that time, Toyota released the 2000 GT, which is probably the most iconic and stylish Toyota ever. In fact, from a design perspective, it is one of the inspirations behind the new Supra. So they entered the 2000 GT in the Suzuka 1000 kilometer race where it took first place. Now skipping all the way forward to 1979, missing a lot of history in the interim, the name that you are familiar with today TRD, Toyota Racing Development, was founded. I guess the name Tosco got tossed out the door because it just wasn't a good name. And now we get the famous TRD logo and the brand that you probably have heard of. In the 1980s, Toyota started competing in rallying with World Rally Racing, and they dominated the WRC Safari Rally with the Celica, or Celica, depending on what country you're from. They won 11 manufacturers championships and nine drivers championships throughout the 80s with this very iconic vehicle. In the late 90s and the 2000s, Toyota did continue to do some off-road racing, but they also got into IndyCar. They got into NASCAR. They got into NHRA. They got their hands into all kinds of different things, which is a little bit surprising to me as a fan of Japanese automobiles to see them competing in NASCAR. Jumping forward today, how we know TRD is mainly two things. It's the logo, it's the badge, and it's also SUVs and trucks. TRD is a separate company within Toyota. They're in California, they have over 200 employees, and they're actually quite prominent in North America now. In Japan, you can buy TRD aftermarket performance parts, and they make these for a number of different vehicles, including the Supra. But also, TRD is associated with performance trucks. You've probably seen trucks like the RAV4 TRD Pro, and the Tacoma, and the Tundra, and so forth, that have TRD badging. And so these are trucks that have TRD parts, and TRD branding, and TRD specific tuning that come from the factory. Globally, to some degree, TRD as a brand has sunset a little bit, and the main presence does remain in North America. They also have some presence in South America. And so now, that leads us to talk about Toyota Gazoo Racing. Now let's talk about Toyota Gazoo Racing, which is a much newer company. 
In fact, they really only have two cars that you can buy internationally right now. Let's take a look at those. You're probably familiar with the GR Supra, which is the first global model in the GR series. But you've probably also seen recently the launch of the GR Yaris, or Yaris as some people like to call it. It is not exactly a global model if you include the USA in the global community. It's not available in the US and Canada, unfortunately, but it is available outside in countries like the UK and Japan. And it is the newest hot hatch. Within Japan, there is the GR Sport line, which encompasses all these models that I'm really not that familiar with and are not available in North America. But I wouldn't mind seeing some of them. Then there is the GR Super Sport. This is a supercar, it's a hybrid. It is used as a development platform for future technologies. And hopefully we're gonna see a road going version available some point in the not too distant future, probably with an incredibly high price tag. But let's go back to the beginning of GR. Back in 2007, Toyota wanted to compete in the 24 hours Nürburgring race. And it was a fairly small budget effort. And in fact, they wanted to use the name Works Toyota Racing, but they couldn't use it, so they used Team Gazoo. So Gazoo is the Japanese word for image. And that somehow morphed into the Gazoo Racing name that we know today. I guess it's kind of an English hybridization of that original word. Back in 2007, Akio Toyota was the vice president of Toyota. Later in 2009, he became the president. And he was taught by Hiromo Naruse how to drive, essentially how to become a better driver. And in Toyota, they have this concept of master driver. At the time within Toyota, there was a frustration that the engineers would develop a product and the senior executives would drive the cars briefly and then sign off on them. And that was all the input that they had. To begin to change that, they competed in the 24 hour Nürburgring race with Toyota Gazoo Racing. It allows engineers to develop products and push the cars to a much higher limit than previously they were doing for purely street vehicles. Tragically in 2010, Narusa Hiromo died at an accident at the Nürburgring, but prior to that, he took Akio Toyota under his wing and taught him how to be a master driver. And so now as president, Akio Toyota is also the master driver at Toyota, and he's directly involved with every car that is developed by the GR brand and he personally drives it and gives his personal input into every vehicle. Today, Toyota Gazoo Racing still competes in different global races, including Le Mans, the 24 hour Nürburgring race and others. They compete in rally events too. They've been winning in WRC recently and they take the philosophy that they gain in racing and sort of bring that back into the road going vehicle. The GR Yaris is developed completely in house. It's a 1.6 liter three cylinder engine making 268 horsepower. It's completely bespoke for the Yaris. I did a whole video on how that car is developed and where it's made at the Moto Mashi plant, which is also where the LFA was made in Japan. I'll link that up above. If you want to compete and you have deep pocketbooks, Toyota has the Supra in the GT4 version, the race version that you can use to compete in IMSA. It should be at Daytona a little bit later this year. So Gazoo Racing is associated a little bit more with cars on a racetrack, and TRD is associated a little bit more with off-roading and body-on-frame trucks and so forth. TRD as a brand is going to have a little bit less presence right now, is the way I understand it, and you're going to see GR as the face, really, of Toyota performance and racing a little bit more going into the future. We live in a world of SUVs and trucks and big vehicles, and that is projected to be about 77% of the market by 2023. However, the good news for enthusiasts like us is that sports cars are projected as a segment to grow. And so hopefully we're gonna see more vehicles from GR, like hopefully the GR86, which should be coming out fairly soon. If you wanna know a little bit more of a deep dive on GR and TRD, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please slap a like on it and subscribe if you're new. It helps me bring you more interesting videos on cars and trucks and things that enthusiasts like us appreciate.